Hello, everyone. Welcome to Maker Monday. We're going to learn quite a few things tonight. Let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about Corel Draw, our vinyl cutter, and mason jars. So basically the goal of this project is to create a custom vinyl decal that we can then apply to a mason jar. So to get started, right now I have Corel Draw open and I'll just go ahead and click the button where it says new document. So I'll go and give it a name up here at the top. Let's call it JCPL mason jar and I'll give it a width and a height. Now I've already measured the mason jar and the area that I want to apply the decal to is about two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'll enter that information and hit OK. And you can see it creates um, that page right here. Now of course along the left hand side here we have um, some basic drawing tools so we could just click and drag, create rectangles, circles, polygons, all that fun stuff. Of course we could always go into the text tool and add some text. And as always I can highlight it and change the font just like so. But what I want to do for my example is I'm going to import our JCPL logo. So basically if you had a photo that you had taken with your camera or maybe you um, found something on the internet that you liked, you would basically save the file to the computer and then import it the same way that I'm doing like so. So basically I'm just going to go to file and import. And I have these files opened up right here. So I'll go ahead and import this one right here. It is going to ask me where I want the top left hand corner of the image. I'll just put it maybe like right about here. So you can see that imported um, is quite large and up here I can see it's actually um, 7.9 by about 4.6. Of course that is much larger than that 2.5 that we initially um, set. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit here and scale down the logo. And that looks pretty good. Now I'll make it a little bit larger. Alright, so what I can do now is I can actually center the graphic by to the page by hitting the P key and there it is right in the center of the page. So we have what we want um, to print out. We have it imported. So now we need to create the cut contour line. So whenever we sent a, um, a job to our vinyl cutter and we want to do the vinyl cut, you have to have that cut contour set. And basically the cut contour is a specific color that Roland has selected that it will detect and then be able to tell um, that it needs to cut at that location. So to do that, I'm going to go over here on the left-hand side, find one of these shapes, and let's just let's go ahead and use a rectangle for this example. And basically, I'm just going to click and drag that around my design, and I'll center it up like so, and that looks pretty good right there. So now the next thing I'm going to do is over here in the object properties. I'm going to change that outline to hairline. And next up, we'll go and set the outline color. And again, that's what we just talked about. So I have the drop down menu just below. There is a multicolor, kind of almost looks like a Rubik's Cube right here. And that's going to be our color palettes. And we need to find the rolling palette, or rolling verse works, I should say. So I have this drop down menu. And basically, you can see that folder right here called Roland. And there it is, Roland VersaWorks. And you can see, cut contour. And now if I zoom in on our design, you can see it's created this pink line all the way around. So basically, that right there is a completed design. Now all we need to do is export it. And to do that, I'll go to File, Export. And we will save it as an EPS file. And basically, once we have that saved, we can take that file over to our uh, machine and our staff will send that job over and you'll pay and print. And that's about it. Now all it is a matter of getting it onto the, um, the mason jar. All right, so here I have a final product. So it's not the design that we just did, but it is a similar one. You can see where I printed out an image, did the cut contour around it, and then applied it straight to the mason jar. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Maker Monday videos, check out this playlist. You can also learn more about the JCPL Creative Space 
at www.jesspublib.org forward slash creative space.